What's your trick? All right, everybody, half a day, and welcome back. I'm Jason Salas alongside my colleague, Joe Cruz, and we have the man joining us for KUN Fantasy Football Fiesta, the man who is actually making it a proper fiesta. Wow. We got friends, we got family, and we got food. Executive chef here at Sidelines in Tamuni, Anthony Manel. Yeah. Chef, thank you so much for having us. Oh, man, thank you for being here. Okay, now we are going to talk about all the pigskin action. We're going to talk about the fantasy points, who screwed up, who's really kicking butt right now, but we have to talk about this amazing food. Look at this stuff. Yeah, I'm loving the spread. Uh, I can't wait to dig into it. Okay, so th these are chef's creations. So just a few, just a few. Yeah, just just a, the <laughs> the menu is pretty crazy here. It's yeah. it's all sports themed, right? It definitely, and um, you know, it's a it's an American kind of theme with a little bit of local flair into it. So okay, um, the items that we have here are, are three of the items that I would love to be our best sellers. So we have our fish tacos, which is a beer batter mahi with the cabbage slaw. Mahi. Yes, Mahi. Okay, this, this is getting, Ken is behind the camera right now. He, he's going through absolute purgatory right now because he cannot jump on this. But yeah, Ken really, really loves Ken, Mahi. We'll make you extra. If we don't share with you, we'll make you some extra. Um, in the middle here, we have our lemon red pepper wings. It is one of the hotter wings that we have on the menu. It's a On a scale of one to 10. It's probably a 12. Whoa. I've, I've had people crying over these ones. Okay, so, yeah. so, th so this is like Pika Plus Plus. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's a local pepper that we find down south. Um, we bring it up for us, and we, we blend it with some spices, some lemon. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite wings on the menu. Okay, now we are all about entertainment here at KUM, and Joe's from the south. Joe's from Santa Rita, all right? So I'm from Jigo, so I can't take hot, you know, to save my life. So Joe loves Pika, right? I do, okay. and man, it, 12 on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I don't, man, I don't know. Okay, you're watching this on Facebook Live right now. So Joey's going to dig into one of those. It, it, and there's, Chef, there's, there's already the uh, lemon and red pepper sauce on the wings. Already right? on the wings. And then we also give it with the side. Now, we don't give ranch because we don't want you to cool down. We do definitely want you to grab a beer and cool down with a beer. Well, it's good that we're doing this during football season because Chef is bringing the pain right now. So I cannot wait to see this. Yeah, let me get... This is the first time I've had this, so this is a live reaction. Okay. Uh, it's a good thing we're near Foremost, too, because we may need, like, a glass of milk. Okay, Joe is just going all in. He's not lying. <laughs> it's hot. But it's really tasty. Okay, now is it sticking to your tongue hot or is it just like, you know, you can feel the burn? It's on the roof, it's on the roof of my, like, my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, but it's man. It's an all over kind of burn. It's going to get you from the tip of your tongue to your throat kind of burn. Okay, and we won't talk about what happens about, you know, two hours from now because, you know, this is a family-friendly show. But, yeah, you know, the, uh, as hot as it is, it's actually really, really delicious. I mean, I like, I love it. Okay, well, I, I like the other, the other wings, the, the cooler ones, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so what's, what's in those? Mayo, right. We have a curry mayo wings. Yeah. Uh, another mayo. one we have is our naked wings, where we just serve with a house black pepper mayonnaise sauce. Um, we have a sweet chili sauce, which is just a little spicy, but not too much, and then a barbecue sauce, which is again just a little spicy. Okay. Joe, Joe, stay with me now. Okay, he's, he's going to go. Don't, don't go into the light, Joe. Stay with us. Stay with us. Okay. Okay, and while Joe fixes himself, Chef, I, I know here, you, you walk over here to sidelines, there's at least two or three cars out there. Right. You guys are Denver Broncos fans. Of course. I mean, you know, we've got to do it big with the Broncos. Okay, and I understand there's a little bit of the Denver Bronco um, flavor into this hot dog. Definitely. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're kind of a place where we need, we need people to kind of build it on their own, so... Yeah, we're going to bring a little bit of Denver Bronco flair. But you get to choose what you get to put in here. And they call this the Mile High Hot Dog, right? Mile High Hot Dog. Woo! So what you get to do is we, we basically cook the dog. You choose the toppings. And we give you a variety of choices. On this one here is uh, jalapeno jam, pickled onions, barbecue, black pepper mayonnaise, tomatoes, and serve it with a side of french fries. To me, it's delicious. That, that is not a meal. That is art. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Okay, and this isn't just any particular hot dog. You know, it's no. it's not just kielbasa. It's not no, it's sorry. not you know anything. We what kind of hot dog is this? It's a smoked sausage. It's a bacon and Swiss smoked sausage. Wow. So um, I mean, it's like you said, it's beautiful. Okay, Joe, you want to take another one for the team? Or? Oh no, man, I'll, I'll I'll save that one for Ken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ken is smiling from ear to ear right now. All right, Chef, thank you so much for having us again, man. No, this, okay, this is not just a sports bar. It is a proper restaurant. You have amazing, men amazing menu, 
um, incredible entrees. This is a great place to eat, even if you don't love sports. But who on Guam does not love sports? And that's the pre precise reason we're here, because we're going to talk about week five. If you can even utter a sentence now that your tongue is, you know, flaming. I'm back from the dead. Okay. Uh, week five so far for me has been going great for fantasy football. Uh, all of my, my entire team is on fire. And, uh, you know, we have uh, we got the Cowboys and uh, Texans playing right now. Tomorrow uh, we have the Saints. Uh, but, yeah, so far I'm doing well right now. How are you doing? I'm not doing so well because my stupid butt actually started Leonard Fournette from your hometown, Jacksonville Jaguars. I, I actually forgot that he is injured because, like, I'm smart like that. Um, I think these, these uh, beer-battered mahi fish tacos are definitely going to, like, take some off of my bad decision-making, but, um, but we shall see. Okay, and you've got at least one player in this game right now, right? I have Ezekiel Elliott right nice. now. Uh, he, he hasn't scored just yet. I'm, I've been waiting for him. He was, he was close to the goal line, but uh, they handed it off to Alan Hearns, who also came from Jacksonville. He was in Jacksonville last year. Okay. Otherwise, some... Rather surprising things, I would say, about um, week five in the NFL. Let's see. The Bills pulled one out. Uh, the Titans were look really, really promising. Mm -hmm. Buffalo getting it done at home. Everybody said they were, the, they were the league's lousiest team. They said if you put Alabama up against the Buffalo Bills, Alabama would smoke them. They came to play today. They did. Um, winning by one. It was a really, uh, really close game. Uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Titans beat Jacksonville last week and they didn't get it done this week yeah. experts haven't picked the lions over the packers in at least 20 years since the days of herman moore and the, the lions got it done at home in the motor city against the packers that that is crazy mason Crosby. there's the there's the milk okay another thing i cannot partake of because i'm lactose intolerant man this is crazy okay the 49ers lost they look really really bad uh, the Cardinals, good performance for them. Uh, rookie rookie quarterback, yeah, getting uh, it done. The, going back to the uh, the uh, Packers game, sure. though, I actually wanted to say, Aaron Rodgers. Did you have? Do you have him in our league? I, he is my starting quarterback. 442 yards, pass for three TDs. Uh, awesome game. Devontae Adams also had 140 yards and a TD. I actually have him on my team. Okay, so he's one of the reasons why I'm doing so well right now. Whoever's got Patrick Mahomes today. Decent game by statistical measure, but he didn't really light it up in fantasy points. He, he, got, the, he got the W in real life, and that's, that's all that matters. You know? But um, I believe he didn't have any touchdowns. He had one rushing touchdown, and he had a pick. Um, good day. I think he had over 300 yards, so, you know, eh. yeah. Well, I think one of the reasons is because that Jacksonville defense, they're uh, continuing to do what they did last year, and they're, they're lighting it up. You know? they're, uh, they're putting the pressure on and. Today was a, uh, it was, I think, it, for me, uh, between the Rams and the Chiefs, probably two of the most explosive offenses in the league against the number one defense in the league. And if there was any defense that was going to get it done, it was going to be the Jaguars. But even though they came up short. Okay, and if you had Todd Gurley, the second, Todd Gurley two, mm -hmm. you scored three touchdowns. Todd Gurley was the man today. He could not be stopped. Three touchdowns. Uh, he, he didn't rush for so many yards, but... He got it done at the goal line, and that's okay. where it mattered the most. Okay, well, we are going to get it done on this table right now because we have this mile-high hot dog that I cannot wait. Okay, Ken is going to jump over the table and attack it, so I'm going to try and get at least one of these fish tacos. There's three of them. I have a feeling I'm barely going to get maybe half of one. So that is Fantasy Football Fiesta for Week 5. Jason, Joe, sidelines. It's the place to be. You're going to love it here. Come down and check us out for Week 6. Hang out with us. Talk about all things football. Talk about this amazing food. Chef, thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the staff here is incredible. So come down and check them out. We'll see you next week.